The gay rights movement was once the hot-button issue that caused discomfort for many politicians, even liberals sympathetic to the effort. But support for the LGBT community, including support of gay marriage, has become more of a mainstream position in recent years. This shift can be seen clearly in the widespread opposition to the Religious Freedom Restoration Act in Indiana, which opponents say could lead to discrimination against gays and lesbians. The outrage against Governor Mike Pence in the law was swift and strong. It's hard to imagine that even five years ago, governors, mayors, CEOs, and groups like NASCAR and the NCAA would have taken such a united stand in threatening to boycott a state over possible discrimination against gays and lesbians. In fact, not even a decade ago, most liberal Democrats, typically backers of gay rights, oppose gay marriage. Do you support gay marriage? No, Barack Obama nor I. Now Democrats are full-throated in their support for equal marriage rights for gays and lesbians. And it will likely be a theme in the 2016 presidential race. There have been many watershed moments along the way. Opposition to gay marriage used to be popular. Back in 1996, Democratic President Bill Clinton even signed the Defense of Marriage Act, restricting the federal rights of gay couples. Then, in 2004, Massachusetts became the first state to allow same-sex marriages, but conservatives made a strong push in the other direction. Same-sex marriage became a big issue in the 2004 bush kerry presidential race, and almost a dozen states put amendments on the ballot defining marriage as between a man and a woman. Marriage cannot be severed from its cultural, religious, and natural roots without weakening the good influence of society. The GOP had public opinion on their side, and that was still the case four years later. Democratic candidates were still hedging and using cautious language to describe their position. Many said they supported gay rights and civil unions, but didn't go so far as to embrace same-sex marriage. Do you think New York State should recognize gay marriage? No. No? Okay. Former Obama senior advisor David Axelrod wrote in his recent memoir that Obama did personally support gay marriage then, but didn't voice it for political reasons. 2008 was also when the fight for marriage equality ramped up. California's Proposition 8 marriage amendment prohibited same-sex marriage, but led to a backlash. Restaurants and businesses supporting Prop 8 were boycotted, although it failed to cause a groundswell across the nation. Then in 2012, the percent of Americans who supported gay marriage hit 50%. Biden and President Obama came out in support of gay marriage, and it became a consistent message in their campaign. Uh, I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. But Republicans dug in. Marriage is a relationship between a man and a woman. But in the last several years, support for same-sex marriage continued to grow, and so did the number of states that legalized same-sex marriage. The Supreme Court ruled California's Prop 8 and Clinton's Defense of Marriage Act unconstitutional. I've seen something like gay marriage go from a wedge issue used to drive us apart to a story of freedom across our country, a civil right now legal in states that seven in ten Americans call home. Now in 2015, support for gay marriage is at an all-time high, and it's reflected in the role reversal. Those who don't support gay marriage now are the ones who have to hedge and use cautious language. GOP figureheads like Jeb Bush, Ted Cruz, and Rick Santorum didn't even mention sexual orientation in their statements of support for Indiana's religious freedom law. And Governor Pence spent most of his press conference trying to make it clear, although he doesn't support marriages for gays and lesbians, he cares about their rights. With the Supreme Court due to rule on the legality of gay marriage in June, expect gay marriage to become another big issue in the 2016 campaign.